D, wait for it. Light bulb. I got the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? So today I am being joined by my friend Jiko. Uh, Jiko, say hi. <laughs> there we go. Um, so we are going to take a look at all of the live action Disney uh, reboot movies that are coming to uh, theaters and Disney Plus. Um, I just want to say real quick that you can check out Jiko's uh, YouTube channel. I will leave it in the iCard section. And then I will also leave it in the uh, description down below and all his social media that you can get in contact with him. Go check out his channel. It's really great. He does uh, reactions and a bunch of Disney stuff. It's really, really great over there. Yeah, and you should also check out our collab video. We did like an episode ranking of WandaVision and it's interesting to see like different perspective of the episode. So check it out. Right on. Yeah, it was really a good time. Also, before we get started, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is constantly changing up their algorithm and small channels like mine and Jico's usually get pushed to the back of the line. So we please ask that you like, share and subscribe and we thank you in advance. So why don't we go ahead and get started on this. Now, first, I just want to ask you about, and talk to you about past uh, live action uh, reboot movies that have been done. And this includes Alice in Wonderland, Alice in Wonderland 2, uh, Maleficent and Maleficent 2, Cinderella, The Jungle Book, Beauty and the Beast, Dumbo, Aladdin, The Lion King, Lady and the Tramp, and Mulan. Now, out of all of these, um, Lady and the Tramp and Mulan, now Mulan was originally supposed to be in theaters, but because of the pandemic, it had to go to Disney Plus. But Lady and the Tramp was a, a Disney Plus release movie. And I, I don't know about you, but I felt like it was a Disney Plus uh, mm -hmm. kind of movie um out of all the the disney remake live action remakes that have come out so far which one is your favorite um the reason why i love disney so much is the musical element my favorite pops in my head is you know i love the beauty and the beast i love the aladdin one i love most of the princesses stuff so i love the musical element i think when they do the beauty and the beast especially the beauty and the beast that's when like they crack the formula or like they know how to that they know like what Disney fans like me love with their remakes. And mm -hmm. it's interesting to see like them experimenting with like Jungle Book is kind of like they do a homage to it, but they expand on the story and Beauty and the Beast is kind of like same, same old story, but a bit of like um, expansion on the story. And my favorite is Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin. Um, yeah, and Mulan was an interesting experiment to kind of bad, like for um, behind the scenes stuff. But like story wise, it it was there. It was just interesting to ask ourselves a question that like, which Disney musical doesn't need a musical. And Mulan was kind of like uh, like a hot topic because I love the music in Mulan. And I under I took me a while to understand, okay, you don't need I don't need like soldiers like singing during battlefields and stuff, but yeah. Do you, so think, overall, yeah. do you think movies like Mulan and for instance, Raya and the last dragon that just came out, do you think that they suffered because they didn't have any music and singing in it? Um, I think that, no, I feel like, I mean, Mulan was a different story as to why it suffered. I think it's more on the controversy that kind of like, let the movie went super super downhill i feel like for raya i feel like it doesn't need the musical emma yes they could add some music into it but i feel like not every like um disney princess movies or every disney needs a musical it depends on the storytelling for raya it doesn't need like a musical i think instead of musical it's an interesting experiment but i feel like it, it didn't affect i think it was just you know like a bad timing when the film was released and the pricing of it and a bunch of factors into it. But overall, I don't think the musical element like bring down the film. Like look what happened to Princess and the Frog. Like it was a musical and people didn't see that in theaters. However, that was very popular once like it's out of theater. Same thing with Moana too, which is pretty interesting. I don't know why it's the diverse princesses that happened that always experience like scenarios like that not like the white princesses but it's pretty interesting but yeah right on yeah 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 um out of all the live action remakes which one is your least favorite that um i gotta say like um 
Alice in Wonderland. Like I, as much, when I first watched it, like again, I was 10 years old and I just thought that the movie was kind of like, I was a bit confused with the, again, spoiler alert, but like it's already, it's out. In the oh room. yeah. If you haven't seen it now, uh, you guys are, uh, you're late to the party. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I was so confused with the ending. I was like, what happened? Why are we seeing like the little like kid for Alice? I didn't know Alice was a little child until like as I grew up. Oh, she's actually a child. I thought she was like a teenager. And I think because like, it, I feel like it misses the Wonderland element of Alice in Wonderland. Like Tim Burton made it like super dark and like action adventure. I feel like she just missed the whimsical part of the story. Absolutely. And yeah. So that's the thing that pops into my brain. I was, oh yeah, I also don't. I also don't really like Dumbo too. I mean, Dumbo's a charming movie. It's pretty sad, but again, like I miss it. Again, same director, Tim Burton. Like he, okay, that movie was better than Alice in Wonderland, in my opinion. But like, I just feel like it was pretty like dark and like it's not really unwatchable in my opinion. It's like you can watch it once in a while. I'm like I'm fine with it, but like it's nice to revisit the story of Dumbo once in a while, but again, I just missed that whimsical element, but Dumbo mm -hmm. did a better job whimsical than Alice, but I wish Alice was more whimsical because that's what Wonderland is, very whimsical. Right on. All right, so that's, let's move on to the uh, coming up movies. And first, we're going to talk about movies that are going to be uh, hitting theaters. Now, I just want to preface it that at the timing of this recording, all these movies are going are slated for a theater release. Now, that could mean that they move over to Disney Plus or their uh, premium all access, um, but we don't know that as, as of right now. So I want to start off with the first one that's coming out, and that is Cruella. Now, we've already seen trailers for this movie. Um, it stars Emma Stone and Emma thompson the emmas mm -hmm. and uh first off uh what do you think about this movie do you think it looks good are you excited for this uh movie okay before they release like the first trailer like i you should follow like um this site it's called disney insider like they're kind of like disney scoops like when i heard like based on their thing i heard that the movie was like pretty bad and i'm not really surprised because we haven't heard anything about it and again like i was like a bit nervous like oh maybe i won't be like i'm still into the movie it's just that um, i'll still watch it even though it's good or bad and when when the first trailer came out i was like this is what i want i want like a fun origin story of a villain I, it, it sounds like a chance where she could possibly stay a villain like i don't know how you again i don't know how you can redeem like a woman or a fashion girl that wants to kill puppies and I, I, I'm excited for this film um, because I think that this could, if this does well, I feel like this could possibly open a whole new like Disney type of storytelling with like Disney like villains that are like very popular on their own like animation counterpart, but not so much on the hero side, if that makes sense. Like Krell is like mm -hmm. one of them. And it's an exciting film. I'm excited that everybody's talking about it. I'm excited that it's very popular, even though it has some controversies behind especially with the comparison with the DC villain um, it looks like a fun film and Emma the actors are pretty the act the actresses are pretty charming Emma Stone I don't know like this film will make you like an Emma Stone stan like I excited to see her portrait of Corel. she looks very promising and I'm excited for Disney to go a bit dark on this movie right on yeah yeah and yeah fashion too fashion is everything in that film <laughs> All right, so then the next one I want to talk about is The Little Mermaid. Now, I don't know about you, but this is my favorite Disney movie of all time. Oh, I too. love Ariel, uh, a whole new, um, gosh, a whole new world. Part of Your World is my favorite Disney Ariel. song. Yeah, there she is. Uh, yeah, it is my favorite song. And um, it'll be interesting to see uh, what they do with this movie, considering the fact that they did cast a black Ariel that was a little I mean, bit of controversy. No, like, yeah. Um, they've also cast a lot of different diverse uh, people for, uh, including, um, oh gosh, who did they cast for her dad? Uh, Javier Bardem as oh, yeah. her father. Um, I don't know um, if they've cast her mother, but it doesn't they, even matter. Um, I feel like they did, but like, it's more in speculation. It's not right. really like confirmed. I think people are saying that the actress from Undoing is her mother. It's not official, but I heard... I'm not saying I'm a scooper or anything, but I just heard that it makes sense that she could play the mother. Right or on. Or like a handmaid's tale, you know, like what Jasmine has like a like a girl's psychic. I don't I don't think Ariel needs that because she has her sister. So like 
Right on. And they have cast a lot of like smaller actresses to be in the movie, but they also have not given us um, who they're going to play there. I also, uh, Lin-Manuel Miranda is writing music for this. I'm very curious to see what he does. I hope he doesn't ruin um, what the original um, composers did with that movie. Just because I feel like he has his own style um, when he he kind of incorporates rap into his stuff, which I'm fine with if he writes new songs. But when it comes to, say, a part of your world, if all of a sudden Ariel's just like, you know, a deed, a dad, a dad, a deed, I'm going to be like, what the hell is this? Uh, uh, I don't want to be part of this world. Sorry, maybe like under the sea or kiss the girl, he could add some rap elements. I don't think he's going to add rap elements on part of the world. That's like very disrespectful with the song. Yeah, I would be very upset. Um, do you think that um, they'll give Ariel her traditional costume of the the shells on there? Or do you think they'll cover her up more? That's a good question because like Jasmine, for example, and her live action counterpart, she was kind of like covered-ish. So you can still kind of see some of her like her skin. Midriff. But like, Overall, she was basically covered. I, I'm like, I am like fifty percent sure that she won't be covered. I feel like there will be like scenes where like her mermaid outfit will be like covered, you know. But I feel like she won't be like covered because I don't know if you see like workout videos of Haley Bailey, Haley Bailey, like doing like workout. I feel like I feel like um, they're gonna like show her like you know like she's gonna be like half topless. Because, you know, she's a mermaid and mermaids right. are usually topless unless like, you know, she's on a formal event or whatever. But like, you know, I do hope they keep her the shell bra. Yes, I, I, I love like that look. Will. I think she looks great in the animated movie. And I think Haley Bailey can pull it off. Um, so I, I hope that I hope that they do keep it. So but if, if they do will. change it, um, I hope they do like with Jasmine in Aladdin. Um, I hope they do, you know, stay true to the original look, yes. but still kind of make it more modern-esque and respectful. Because I think what Aladdin did with Jasmine was they made it respectful to that culture and that area yeah. of the world. And so, um, you know, same thing with Aladdin wasn't shirtless underneath his little vest. He had a oh, white yes. shirt on. So I think that, I think that, I hope they do the same thing with a Little Mermaid. Just uh, keep it, uh, you know, close to the original to where we don't, it doesn't look like something I've never seen before. Yeah, I feel like they will. And also like, I'm very curious if they're gonna add like that green dress, you know, like if you see like marketing of Ariel, if she wears that green dress, but you don't see her in the film. I'm just, I hope that they add that on the film. Just right on, to, that'd be like, great. Or somewhere, well, like I think they will cause they added some new dresses for Jasmine. Jasmine's like the most, Princess has like so many like outfit changes throughout the film. I feel like they will, I hope so. But again, I feel like um, I shouldn't be nothing to worry about, especially with fashion, because Disney knows how, because Disney is aware of like how popular and how much intense famous Ariel has, especially for Halle Bailey. And I feel like the costume will very, very stay homage to like the animation counterpart. But I feel like there's going to be a bit of like changes in between. But I believe that she won't, they won't cover up her skin on the, on the, on the yeah top right on you can see her seashell yeah right on all right so so the next one that i want to talk about is the jungle book 2 now this is still in development and i'm not sure if they've started working on it john favreau did the first one i believe he's doing this one also Uh, but don't quote me on that because i i don't have it written down um and everything um are you looking forward to this one and what do you think the story could be with this one um like, like if you haven't seen the original Jungle Book, you know, towards the end, they introduce this, like, girl, like, this mm-hmm. little, I've heard her name, the little girl, she's kind of beautiful, actually, they had, like, a musical sequence and stuff, my thinking that I would love them, like, Jungle Book, to me, the movie over, I was, like, okay, like, I just wasn't really into it, I really, I appreciate, like, you know, the technology behind it, and that's how John Fambro is famous for now, and I feel like the story they, they could explore is, what is life um, for Mowgli in the, in, you know, in land instead of like in the jungle? Because in the original film, Mowgli went back to, I mean, the Disney animation film, he went back to, you know, the village. And like, I would love them to explore more in the village. I think it's, I, I feel like it's going to be like um, 
Maleficent do kind of like the land versus like the jungle but I feel like I will love them to explore the villain I mean not the villain yeah the village I meant and I hope that they can bring in that I forgot her name but that character girl from the end of the film into that if they bring her there then I'm into I am like in the I'm more like interested in the film if they don't then I'm not really but I'll still watch it but yeah right on so uh, next is The Lion King 2. Um, are you excited for this one? And what do you, also, again, what do you think the story will be there? I feel like based on what we heard about Jungle, not Jungle, <laughs> Lion okay. King 2, it's, I feel like it's going to be like, I don't know if you've seen Mamma Mia 2. It's kind of like a sequel, but also like a prequel to at the same time. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if they're going to bring in like the original like cast from the first film or like they're going to cast like a whole brand new one, make it like a prequel, but yet like a sequel. Um, I think, yeah, I think, I think what's missing in the original film was um, the backstory of Scar and Mufasa, like their relationship. And I'm happy that they're making a film out of it. And I feel like, um, again, Lion King wasn't really like my favorite like live action film. I understand why, but I love like the casting of it. I love how like diverse, I mean, how, most of the cast were like black people, except for Tumba and Timon, yeah, the mm -hmm. two psychics. And yeah, I think the story, I, I hope that the story kind of relates to what's happening in the present, like what they did for Mamma Mia 2, where like, oh, or other films too, where like the past kind of relates. So I don't want it, I don't want the past to be like out of nowhere. Like what that, why are we like talking about this story it has nothing to relate to like, what's right happening on. now. I just hope that's not really too childish, of course. Right on. Oh, we're gonna learn about um, Mufasa's backstory. Let's have a celebration. And while we do it, let's explore like backstory. But I just hope that they bring back the original cast in this. Yeah, sequel. of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be really great. Um, So the next one is Snow White. Now they've already done a live action version of this, not at Disney. Yeah. Um, uh, how? What do you think about this movie? Uh, do you think that they'll keep it to the traditional movie from before where it's just a princess in a cabin with seven dwarves? Or do you think they'll change it up like they did over at, I believe, Universal where, you know, she's oh, yeah. a big warrior and she's got on, you know, the armor and everything. Uh, how do you think they'll do uh, this movie to like update it and make it more modern? I feel like um, the biggest thing is if they cast like, like if they do the same thing for Ariel or they cast people of color for Snow White, that would be a good change, of course. People want Snow White to be Asian, which I really, I'm there I agree for. with that, yeah. That'd and um, I'm not saying don't cast me as the prince, but like I would love Snow White to be like Asian instead of like a traditional like white princess. For Snow White, the project, I'm very curious on how, because I I'm, I want Disney to do their version of the like live action because every all the studio has done their version, I want to see Disney's version. And like, I'm, I see like, why not? Because they already did like Sleeping Beauty and Snow. Yes, um, Maleficent Story, in case they're retelling Sleeping Beauty and Cinderella. Why have they not done Snow White? Snow White is one of their first, like first animation for them made Disney what it is. And I understand the challenge behind it. And they have to be very, very careful. And I'm very curious. I hope that they make this film pretty dark, like scary dark, because that, if you watch right. the animation version, it's so scary and dark. No wonder why I love that film so much when I was a kid, because how dark it is. Yeah, please add. I know they have. I know it's gonna be a musical because they already like have the songwriters from Aladdin in that film. Like the, they're not twins, but they're the person that wrote like Greatest Showman. And I hope that they change. I, I don't want Snow White to be a warrior. I just want her to be like outspoken, like like Jasmine kind of like that same personality, like. She's very outspoken. She can still have that whimsical, like I don't want her to lose touch on what made her famous, but I also want her to be like outspoken, strong, independent or whatever. And, but I don't want her to be like too childish. I would like her to be like a teen. Maybe they can add some elements in the beginning when she was young, but I feel like Snow White is an interesting story to me because I want to see them explore backstory, you know, the evil queen and like the dwarves and like so many, backstory they can explore it this simple storytelling but yeah right on now uh the next one is aladdin 2 um what do you think about this one um do you think that they uh what, what do you think about this one and coming up i don't know like um 
like when you announce a sequel, I'm like, I'm happy you're doing a sequel, but I'm not like really like excited about it. I have to see what the story is about. Like can, they can do so much, like so much storytelling with like Aladdin. And I'll be curious. I like I hope that they explore more on Jasmine's like backstory, like because they mentioned the origin in the first film, like how Jafar was like murdered. Like I think they're not saying they're they, they didn't say like Jafar Jafar like murdered her like Jasmine's mom, but they there's a saying that she could possibly do it as to why he got the power that he did. I would love them to explore. I think all the series should be explore the backgrounds of those characters that wasn't like answered in the first film. And like, I would love them to do that. Mm-hmm. Maybe go to a different kingdom or if they make this into like a first, like, you know, Disney Royal universe, I would love that. But yeah. overall, I'm not really like interested with it yet, unless they tell me like what the story is about. And if the original cast are back in, then like I'm, I'm game for. I'm gonna watch it no matter what. But my interest of it isn't like hype about it or excited about it. I'm very like you know, slightly okay. curious. Yeah. Gotcha. Now, uh, now the next one for the theatrical releases is Hunchback of Notre Dame. What do you think about this one? Boy, that's. That story is so dark. I it's don't know. It's very dark. I don't know. Like, I don't want Disney to make that. Like, they. Tr- I can't believe. I don't know how they. I don't know how the animation story got like G, with like. I, I don't know. Like, how your kids handle like how check notes. Where do you like? Did they like ask you questions? Did they feel no. scared? No. Or because I have no idea what it is. Um. When when we watched that one, I don't uh remember them being scared because when I, when they are scared my daughter has no problem with being like i'm scared um but uh i remember watching it be like uh because when i we had watched it with them i hadn't seen it in a, a little while so uh watching it i was my me and my wife were like this is kind of dark i mean you've got like these i don't know if they're demons or whatever coming out of the fireplace when uh, um uh figaro or whatever his name is is singing his song frollo is singing his song and I'm all like, uh, yeah, this is some uh, pretty dark stuff here <laughs> with this religion thing. So, um, no, they did not ask me questions about it, but uh, yeah. I don't think that they were scared because I, I don't know. I don't think they think like that because I remember when I watched it when it came out, um, I was not scared as a child. So I don't think um, I don't think they think of it in that terms. But at the same time, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, when I did watch it when I was a child, I just don't remember much about it. All I remember is the beautiful Esmeralda, which is one of my, like, my favorite, like, Disney. She's so pretty. I remember she was part of the Disney Princess lineup for a second, and she's gone. Again, like, I get it. I think that it's a, it's whoever they cast for the role. If it's a hot, like, per, like, a hot celebrity, I guess, and she can, hopefully they can sing well then like I'm really into the film, but I'm very curious like how dark they're gonna go to. I hope that Esmeralda has more of like like a stronger role of the story. And like I again I I, I just I just hope that Disney doesn't like sugarcoat the story, if you know what I mean. I feel like, you they sugarcoat the story, but I'm very curious. I can't believe that's still moving forward. We haven't heard about that project in over a year. And right on. Just randomly, but still, it's still happening, you guys. It's still <laughs> right happening. Right on. Um, uh, all right. So the next one I, is called Rose Red. Now, okay. this one is about a girl that is in relation to Snow White. So I don't know any more, too much about this uh, movie. Um, I don't know if you know enough about this movie to oh, really I be... heard that um the actress who's supposed to play Rose Red was supposed to be Brie Larson mm, interesting. And, and yeah and then like you know Captain Marvel happened so like I think that project is on shelf I don't know if it's still like happening but I didn't I just heard about from you know Disney Insight because they mentioned how like Brie Larson was attached to the role and then nothing mm. that'd ever... be interesting well we'll just skip over that one because that one's like a very much like a kind of maybe like a niche project kind of thing yeah if it's like um, back 2016 it's like we can talk about now it's like what is that again (laughs) so the next one is bambi how do you feel about bambi why is this in theater again this movie should go on disney plus because i don't know yeah we'll get to that in just a second i want to go through all these and see if you think they should go to disney plus but okay um do you think this story is really something that uh, needs to be told in live action do you think that 
do you think audience will relate to this no, kind of story? I mean, they can relate to how cute the animals are. Um, like, I, I feel like Bambi shouldn't be live action. You should just keep it the way it is or make an animation version of like the story. But then like, I don't, uh, I hope at least we see like, like the hunter whoever killed Bambi's mom. Like, I don't know if they're gonna, I don't think they're gonna add like human elements into the story, but then like, I don't know why Disney is like, wanted to make a live action film off of this film. I feel like this could either, this could either be like super well or like not so ugly. I think, I think it depends on who they cast for the animals and how, how they look like live action too. But overall, I just feel like why, like I don't, want to see Bambi's mom die that story I don't know some people think Bambi Bambi is like boring which I I can totally see it but I find Bambi kind of like art it's very like visually appealing like it's so beautiful and like the colors of it I don't know if they can do that live action it's not going to be the same when the animation counterpart oh it's a good movie to watch like you know like Saturday or Sunday morning with your children and seeing how like vintage of it but I don't know I feel like this should be canceled. This shouldn't be on the list for theaters, but. I feel you. I'm yeah. the same way. So the last one is Hercules. There hasn't been no talks of like, the only talks is like um, the producer, you know, the Russo brothers. Mm-hmm. And I will be upset if they remove the musical element. Like, oh, oh for sure. Yeah, you can remove the musical, but Hercules, no, 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 darling. No, you cannot remove. The music yeah. of Hercules because, because the songs are so I think especially more, Meg's song. Yeah, I love that's when she's singing favorite. Don't Say I'm in Love or whatever. I, I love that song. Love, I love that song. They gotta add the muses. Like I don't want the muses to just like tell the story, like being in there. So no, I want them to sing. I want yeah. them to sing the movie. And like Hercules is supposed to be like um a fun movie. Like it shouldn't be like dark or like it, it's not the Disney version and like I'll be very very upset I think I'm not the only one that I'll be very upset if Riso Brothers decide we're gonna make this we're not gonna make this into a musical it's gonna be like a superhero mode like, no musical now or else I'm going to the Disney studio and going to your lot and do like start a protest make this into right a on. musical yeah, no, yeah I agree I, yeah. I, agree but I just that. think yeah sorry I just think that um it depends on who they cast I'm very curious who you want Meg to be cast. It's either people want, like, you know, Ariana Grande and then Elizabeth Gilly. I, I would love um, Elizabeth Gilly to be Meg. I don't know if you know her, but like she... Not off the top of my head, no. But I'm very, I, think, I think it depends on who they cast for those roles. If it's like a big, like, artist, like, if Ariana Grande was cast for like Meg, for example, then like people will be more into the film and yeah I think it depends on the casting if the if the music is, is included in it then it's a hot ticket man it's a hot ticket right on all right so now we'll kind of uh we'll play a little game here now that you yes. uh, and everything so the game is will it go to Disney plus or will it stay in theaters will these go to uh Disney plus or not so the we'll start off with the first one um, do you think that Cruella will go to Disney Plus? I feel like yes. There's like fifty percent chance because that's insane. Like, why would you? They haven't announced yet. I, I want them to put it on Disney Plus. Like, that's a perfect film they can do for premiere because it's such a hot like ticket movie. I don't. I feel like it should go. How about you? What do you think? Do you think it should go to Disney Plus? Or yes, theater? I think it should go to Disney Plus. <laughs> Disney Plus, done. Disney yeah. Plus. <laughs> Plenty Universe, Disney Plus, please. Right on. Yes, I definitely, I think it will go to Disney Plus. Absolutely. Because <laughs> if I have to choose between Black Widow or Corella, I would choose Corella to go on Disney Plus. Like- For sure. I don't think this movie looks that great, in my opinion. But so I think it definitely should go to Disney Plus because I'm not going to see it in theaters, even if it goes to theaters. I- I'll wait <laughs> to see this because I'm not interested at all. Oh, I am. But <laughs> Disney Plus, period. period. Right on. Disney Plus. Right on. I mean, maybe it'll blow us away like Maleficent did because I like Maleficent and uh, I, I feel like I like, feel like they took the problem. same route as far as that because I mean, 101 Dalmatians 
they, you know, instead of telling the story of Pongo and all that crap, they told the story of Cruella and that's what they did in uh, Maleficent. They told the story of Maleficent instead of uh, Briar Rose, so. Oh, I guess you'll love Glenn Close's performance of Cruella than like Emma Stone. Again, we can't judge Emma Stone yet's performance. We haven't seen the film. But as a writer, you preferred Glenn Close performance based on her performance on the trailer or? Um, you know, to be honest, I don't really like those movies. So I'll say no. I'll say okay. no. <laughs> so, like all right. So the Little Mermaid, do you think it'll go to Disney Plus? No, theater. It's, I concur. Uh, There's it's no a way. Experience. No way. There's no Disney way. Disney is very, very protective with that film. They haven't even like, done any like first look because i remember when before mulan like went on to shooting they even they even did a first look and say hey we're starting to film now here's the premiere date and for Bloomer, they haven't done anything to promote this film yet i didn't like they did the casting of even though we kind of know already that like it's in theaters disney's gonna try their best to make this into theaters right on so jungle book two what do you think i don't know i feel like I feel like it's going to go in theaters because the first one did so like pretty well and like it could make a bunch of money. I'm very surprised people are still into the Jungle Book, but like I think it's going to go in theaters. But there's a chance it could go in Disney Plus, but theater. I think it depends on who's directing it. Yeah, I don't. I think it should go to Disney Plus. I, I'm. I mean, the Jungle Book. Yeah, the first Jungle Book was good. You know what? I take it back. It, it'll make money because the first one did well in India because of the the little boy that was in that. So oh, yeah. again, if you add, if you put in um the same little boy, uh it'll it'll be able to play cuz they have their own Bollywood thing. But is he so, set to come back? I think he is. Yeah. Yeah, so I think I take it back. I this will not go to Disney Plus. They'll make way too much money in the theater with yes. that. Yes. Yeah. All right, so my next one, Lion King 2. What do you think about that? As much as I would love it to go on Disney Plus, but like I think it's going to go in theaters because Lion King likes lion king always makes the money like, that's crazy that the 2019 version made so much money than frozen 2 and it's live action even it's animation i feel like it's gonna it's gonna go on theater especially whoever they cast on the whoever they cast on the lion king and i think it's going i think it's going on theaters right on all right so my next one snow white I feel like for now in my grounds, because it may be Disney Plus, because I don't know. I mean, let's see how it looks like. As of right now, I would say in Disney Plus, because like, it doesn't have like that Little Mermaid, like, like excitement level theatrical, but like I could see it possibly going here. I think it should go on Disney Plus. I agree, Disney yeah. Plus. Yeah, Disney yeah. Plus for now. Yeah, I, I don't Disney know what they can do to update this story. Um, I mean, making her a, a soldier and stuff, I guess, was fun. But I personally didn't like that part of that movie. So I don't know what they can do with this movie to update it, make it more modern. I so. already didn't like ex exploring on the side characters. They could maybe. maybe yeah. But. All right. So the next one, Aladdin 2. What do you think? Disney or theater or Disney Plus or theaters? Yeah, that's tricky. Could it could go either way. It could go on Disney Plus or in theaters. As of right now, I would say in theaters. Again, like, okay, I was very surprised the first one made so much money because I honestly thought it's going to be bad. Mm -hmm. But I'm very surprised like how much I really enjoyed it. It was like a fun ride. But yeah, that's then, why I I don't think it'll go to Disney Plus. It made a billion dollars. Um, that's a lot of money. So I don't think I don't think they'll put it on Disney Plus, even though they should, because that first one, in my opinion, was not good. <laughs> um I feel well, I just, like I really wanted to be good because I was like oh I can't wait for this movie and, and then I saw it and I was like it looked cheap it looked small the singing okay. was horrible <laughs> the acting in my opinion was horrible so I, I I'm not interested in a second one I I feel like okay for my for me personally I would love it to go on Disney plus but if I put in my business hat on Mm -hmm. I think it's going to go on theaters because it made so much money and Disney doesn't want, it's a hot franchise to make a bunch of money. I don't know if it's going to be a billion, but then like never say never. It depends on the story and like yada, yada, yada. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hope he breaks the curse. Because <laughs> he didn't break <laughs> right the on. curse. Yeah. So then for the next one, uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame. 
Disney Plus or theaters? Too dark, so Disney Plus. I was going to say the same thing. It's definitely Disney Plus. What about Rose Red? Kid, kid, that movie is a good movie for Disney Plus, in my opinion, than theaters. Like, yeah, I like, agree. I don't know how connected it is. I don't know if they're going to connect it. I hope that they connect this to, like, if they do the Snow White version. But I think that movie is a good Disney Plus movie. Like, I agree. I think it's going to be a hot topic, depending on who they cast. Right on. Bambi. Easy Disney Plus. I don't want to see this I agree. in theaters. Yeah, I I'm not in. I want Bambi to die. I don't want to spend twenty bucks of my money seeing in IMAX or whatever seeing Bambi's mom die again. I think this is a Lady in the Tramp situation. Like I wasn't interested in that live action movie, and even though the the live action movie was all right, uh, yeah, charming. it was definitely Disney Plus worthy, not theaters worthy. But it was charming. The Lady in the Tramp movie was pretty charming when I watched it. It looked pretty, pretty charming. And right on. Yeah. And last but not least, Hercules. Easy. Um, of course, it's gonna go in theaters. It's like, it's like a theme park movie. I agree. I agree. It should be in theaters. I, I think that. Uh, I think the overall <laughs> spectacle of it, with the whole Greek mythology thing, will be very interesting to see that, especially when you have all you add the like that big sequence with the uh, the Hydra and all its heads and everything. I think that'll be super fun to see. Um, in theaters but I feel like yeah I feel like Disney's gonna look at like like possibly like top a celebrities like big name celebrities so I think that they're gonna put this in theaters based on who they cast which is unfortunate but yeah it's gonna be in theaters easy easy question all right so now we're gonna move on to movies that are slated for Disney plus so Excited. the first one I want to talk to you about is Peter Pan and Wendy what are your thoughts about this uh movie I'm ex- okay I had this in my head because I was like, I'm pretty like nervous how I don't want Peter Pan to repeat the same mistake. I hope history doesn't repeat itself because I heard that it's in Disney Insider. It's, I'm not saying I have a source or anything. I heard that like, um, I or uh, I didn't say her, I read an article for Disney Insider. They said that Tiger Lily is going to play like a major role on the film. I don't know how right that is. They already cast like Tiger Lady as t- not yeah, Tiger Lily. I just hope that all the members of the world is happy with this film. I hope that history does repeat itself again, like same thing with Mulan. And I just hope that Peter Pan doesn't look, again, cheap. I hope that they really took their time with the CGI magic, especially with Tinkerbell. I'm excited to see this film. I love Peter Pan, even though it has some problems with it. But then like, I'm very excited. I hope that they, I I, know, I just hope that Tinkerbell gets more work after, after this or more projects for Disney Plus. Actually, in fact, like, in case you didn't know, this movie supposed to go on Disney Plus, but then like, they want to put it in theaters and now it's going back to Disney Plus, which is like a good idea. But then like, um, yeah, I just hope that it's not cheap. I hope that they really took their time with it, not rush it. And I'm excited. The cast looks very diverse. They even have like a black Peter Pan, which is like, and well, I thought I didn't. I didn't think he was black. I thought he was um like Indian. Oh yes, oh, right sorry, not black. Like people of color, people. Yeah, of color. yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting to see that. I'm I'm curious if they'll do it in the time period that the original one was set in, or if they'll do it more modernized, like I set think in today's so. time. I, I think, think so. Sorry. That you'll you think it'll be set back uh, during the Victorian era or what? It's not during the Victorian so, era, during the um, whatever era it's set in. I don't know what time it is, but uh, you think yeah. in that time period? Yes, because if you look at you know the fir- not I guess the first look, hey, it's official and now like, when you see like the saying, it looks like it's gonna take place in the eighteen. 18- 80s period because I don't know if I want to see like Peter Pan having a cell phone or like, Wendy having right on. a cell that phone. That would be that would be very interesting. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So the next one is Pinocchio. How do you feel about this movie? Okay, Pinocchio. I feel like Pinocchio could easily go on theaters. But I'm very surprised to go on Disney Plus. But then, really? like, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I see Peter. I see not Peter. But I see Pinocchio as like a big spectacular film that can go in theaters for business wise but I'm 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 happy that I don't have to pay for it and I'm very I mean I'm very surprised that Tom Cruise agrees because Tom Cruise is such a big name I'm very I'm so surprised he's still in that movie 
but then like um i hope that the i hope it's the same thing as leading the trap i hope it stays true to the original i think it's going to be a musical i heard and yeah it looks like a very small film but except for the last act where it's like a big <laughs> spectacular with the what's the name again um the whale or whatever like monster or something uh I don't remember the whale's jumbo. No, it's not jumbo. Okay. I don't remember the whale's name. Monster or something. But yeah. I, I hope again, same thing with Peter Pan. I hope they take their time with the animation. They'll don't make it cheap, like what your criticism with um Aladdin was. And it looks like a charming film. I'm excited to see Blue Fairy. She's um Cynthia Rebo. And oh yeah, Cynthia Rebo. I'm excited. I think she's gonna have a musical number. But right on. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope that they do her um more um I hope that they do her different from the original movie because I didn't like that she was all like this big tall lady with fairy wings on it. I hope that she's small, um like an actual fairy, but at the same time, you know, if they don't do it like that, I pro- I won't be upset about it cuz I'm not this movie is not making me go woo and everything. <laughs> so, I mean, I'll watch it, but I'm not I'm not like excited for it so we we'll you see. want tinker sorry speaking of fairies mm-hmm. you want tinkerbell like small or go to her human size small i do not want her big no maybe they can make her big for like certain scenes like what they did for like sisu and like raya the last dragon like they can I, play- I don't want that i don't want it i <laughs> I, I, want, I, like, I have small. a very traditional like like uh feeling towards fairies like they should they should be small you know they fit in the palm of your hand one thing that i like from the original animated movie was when um hook um put tinkerbell in that little uh oh, yeah. lamp you know and everything so when it comes to fairies um i i want them to say small unless they're speaks. fairy godmothers that's different those aren't fairies. She those... speaks. uh tinkerbell yeah, like the. Oh, me action. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like I don't the whole. Like, ding, 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 ding. I don't like that. Angry, or yeah, I guess I was gonna say like, what are your thoughts about you know the fairies in Sleeping Beauty? But you said they're kind of like fairy godmothers. So I guess they give a pass. Um, I was fine with them turning big, but yeah. I, 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 because in the original movie they were big, er, but <laughs> um, I liked that they were they were small. And everything so that was fine um but like with this one with this movie the fairy the blue fairy shows up for like what two scenes for like a hot minute so i'm all like like, eh. so at the same time if she's big if she's big i won't be upset about it but uh yeah i just have a very traditional look at at fairy creatures like they should be you know small you know look different like i don't like the whole humanoid look i think they should have maybe some pointed ears maybe a different nose just to kind of um differentiate them from humans besides just having wings because i'm all like all right you're small with wings so what then they should just cut the wings they should just make her like a fairy godmother they can still have the (laughs) wand like just tinkerbell yeah she she can have like you know elf ear because she's she is a fairy but i feel like for the blue fairy she should just she should just be called blue god fairy or something she should be known as a godmother like no if you don't like wings just cut the wings but she can still have the wand that's what the fairy godmother did in cinderella so right on okay so the next one is the sword and the stone how do you feel about this one that's still happening um i'm happy it's going disney plus because the, an- the animation well, i wasn't really like into it it was i think it's honestly, honestly it's like, one of the most like boring old disney like the Walt era Disney movie, but like I love like the I don't I don't know why I got into it like towards the end, and then the movie's done. I'm like what the hell? Why am I wasting my time? But I feel like um I'm very interested to see how it looks like, and I hope that they add Madame Me into it because she's like the fun part of the film. But I don't I can't believe that it's still happening. I don't we haven't heard anything about that film in a while. I feel like it, it could possibly do pretty well. Disney might could be like the new like Game of Thrones. Or like the witch, there you go, the Witcher from Netflix, like a great like competition between those two, but it's a movie. And um, I hope that they, I hope it doesn't make it too realistic. I want them to add like the whimsical element with the sword of stone, but 
Yeah. Right on. So, okay. So for the next one is Robin Hood. Now, I don't know how you feel about this one. I personally liked this as a kid. I lo- I always love anthropomorphic animal movies. I just love seeing like taking animals and making like them human, which is anthropomorphic, but I like seeing them, you know, wear clothes, do human things, but they're animals. Um, so this will also be interesting to see them pull this off um, doing this, uh, live action well live action but uh, how do you feel about this movie i'm assuming with you I, I did grow up with like robin hood and every when i rewatch it like when my disney animation marathon which i'm still proud of it was quite a challenge but it was fun just like last summer or like late summer i'm very surprised how much i enjoyed that film it was pretty like fun i just hope that they make madame me not too like down to distress in the original she was like so down to distress and I, I don't, yeah, I think it's going to be like 15th century or something. I don't want them to be like super modern, like, you know, and I, I, I don't know how I feel about seeing like real animals, like wearing like clothes. If it's like CGI, I'm fine with it. But then like, they're kind of like remaking the film again. But overall, um, it's not a musical. I'm very curious. I'll probably watch it. But like, it's just something that I'm not, excited for it's kind of like I, I swear it's kind of like babysitting like, okay fine I'll watch it I'll force myself to watch it or whatever but I'm very curious how it's gonna look uh, who's directing this again or oh I don't know I didn't write that down <laughs> just uh, I feel like they found it anyway but they did I just don't remember who it was let's google it quickly oh um Carlos Lopez he's the one that directed yeah he um he did Raya Great, great. I loved Raya. So hopefully, so maybe it's good. yeah, maybe, maybe he'll pull off, you know, another really good movie. Yeah. So the last one is Lilo and Stitch. How do you feel about this movie? I love Lilo and Stitch so much. I don't know why I didn't pay attention, to, but I love Lilo and Stitch so much. I grew up with that film. I even grew up with the TV show when I was a kid from mm-hmm. my childhood. And I'm just worried about how Stitch is going to look like. Again, like I hope that he's kind of like Sonic, like stay true to like the 2D, but add some like 3D elements. And like, um, I I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know if I want Lilo to be like a teenager or I want Lilo to be like, um, like a child, like when she was in animation. But I heard, I heard there's some rumor, rumors of casting that, um, that Lilo might be, um, like a teen and she's played by an American Filipino but I want her to be like Hawaiian because th- that's where the movie takes place and oh yeah isn't John Chu or something still attached to directing or I will be honest with you I do not know <laughs> I, I, I think so I don't know because I remember one of the projects he dropped out but anyway um I'm very curious how it's gonna look like I'll watch it because I love Lilo and Stitch but I'm gonna be mentally prepared for me to be upset as right on. Most live action Disney remix always does to us. But right on. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not interested in this either. I'm. I. This is. I. I don't like the animated ones, so I'm not interested in this at all. Like, I mean, what did Stitch do to you? <laughs> I don't. Uh, yeah. I just. I was never into it when it came out. I was just like, all right. Well, that was fun for the first time, and then I was like, I'm not interested in watching this again. So but to be fair, I wasn't really into the Stitch alien thing. I'm only into like Lilo story and like not like. I just hope that they focus more on Lilo. I don't want it to be like a two story where like, here's Lilo's story. And also like here is Stitch's problem. I want them to focus on the sister element. I forgot that they're sisters. I thought that she's the mom, but they are like before Elsa and Anna, there was Lilo and Nana, Nan, Nana or something. But yeah, I just hope they focus on sister element and it looks like a good Disney Plus show. I don't know, it reminds me of the Fosters kind of like that. ABC family show or freeform show before because mm-hmm. of the foster care thingy and it does look like a good streaming movie but right on yeah I think this yeah, is definitely fun. good that it's going to to streaming because I would not take my kids to see this in the movie theater I wouldn't waste my I don't money the animation except for the sciencey stuff I do love the Lilo right story. on 
Heck yeah. All Heck right. Well, that is wrapped up our discussion for all the movies and TV shows or all the movies coming to the theaters and uh, Disney Plus. Um, is there anything else that you want? Which which movie overall are you looking most forward to um, coming out, either theater or Disney Plus? I'm excited for, um, you know, Corella, all the Disney princess movies, you know, like Little Murray. I'm very hype about that. Pretty nervous, but hype. I'm very like excited for like um, Corella. I think I said Corella, Peter and Wendy. I'm very curious about how that's going to look like. And Snow why whenever that's going to happen, hope it still happens. So, they, so that, you know, they can complete the six original princesses, just Snow White, the first one that's hard to make. And yeah, I'm very curious with Lilo and please make Bambi into Disney Plus. That's all I'm going to ask. Don't make it to theaters. I'm right saving on. you, Disney. We're saving you. <laughs> How about you? I would have to say out of all of them, Hercules. Um, oh, yeah, Hercules. I really love Hercules. Greek Hercules. mythology. I just love it so much. And uh, I really liked the animated show that came out in the 90s or whatnot. And I really just, uh, I really can't wait to see what they do with the whole Greek gods thing and, and how they play with that in live action form. So it'll just be, it's, it'll just be super fun. Is there like any um, Disney in development kind of that you want them to cancel or put, just like stay put on shelf? Don't touch that project. I'll be honest with you. I don't like these remakes. Um, like, they always let me down uh, just because like I always get super pumped for them when I see stuff and then they put out the trailers and I was like, oh, yay and everything. And then they come out and I'm always like, well, that was a letdown. I didn't uh, care for that at all. So I don't, I've tried to not get my expectations up. So if I had to answer that question, I'd say cancel all of them. <laughs> but um, I mean, listen, I mean, Jungle Book 2, I mean, I really think they're only doing that for a cash grab. Same thing with Lion King 2. Um, I mean, I know a lot of people like Lion King, that, that live action one. I personally didn't like it. I thought it was just very reductive. So I, I would say cancel those two, but at the same time, I mean, Jungle Book made so much money in India and then the Lion King made a billion dollars. So of course they're not gonna just leave a billion dollars lying on the floor. So I get why they're making it. I just don't see the need for it. Oh yes. Um, maybe, maybe um, you hating Corella might make you love Corella. Reverse That's, psychology. <laughs> again, uh, yeah, no, exactly. Like Maleficent, I thought Maleficent was stupid, even though she's my favorite villain in the um in the Disney universe or whatever. So when I saw the trailer for that, I was like, okay, I'll see this. But I mean, like, whatever. And then I went and seen it and I actually liked it. I was like, oh, that was pretty good. It wasn't my favorite movie of all time, but I did like it. I did like Angelina Jolie's uh, performance there. I didn't like the second one. The second one sucked, but what are you going to do? Oh, the second um, one was fun. It made me angry at Dan, but like, <laughs> I didn't yeah. it made me angry. Except yeah. for the, the ending. I don't know, just Michelle Pfeiffer's character. It's like, kind of stupid like what they did to her at the end like not the right. whole thing, but like when i don't know like it's just not maleficent that i know it's yeah right on I think aurora brainwash her brain with all the fairy tale stuff but yeah i think they should cancel bambi don't touch it and if you're gonna touch it just go and disney but just do not make it to the it's i concur i'm gonna do well but i'm sorry for all of them um i hope that rose red does goes on disney plus it's a good disney plus movie but yeah. yeah for sure all right guys so tell us what did you guys think about this uh, how do you feel about all these disney remakes which one are you looking forward to the most which one do you think they should cancel because it really just won't work out which ones do you think will go from theaters to disney plus or a day and date release go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below also check out jico's channel which again i will leave in the description down below and in the icard section and you guys can check out his stuff he does some really fun stuff it's super fun over there uh he does a lot of uh reviews and open unboxing for uh, Disney uh, dolls. They're really great. I bought a couple for my daughter for her birthday. Um, you guys can leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind, Jico. You won't mind? Yeah. That's right. Always. Hey, right on. Um, if you are uh, new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next video.